Thank you for joining us today for our Wednesday night prayer. We're going to use one of the scriptures for this week, Psalm 80. And I'm going to read you the version from Nan Merrill in her Psalms for Praying. Eternal listener, give heed to your people. You who are our guide and our light, you who dwell amidst the angels, shine forth into the heart of all nations, enliven your people with compassion, that peace and justice might flourish. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. Gentle teacher, help us to turn to you in prayer. Fasting from our negative thoughts in your steadfast love, you weep with our tears that rise from fear and doubt and illusion. You uphold us when we feel the sting of pride, when our anxieties threaten to paralyze us. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. You companion us through the wilderness, through the shadows created by fear. You plant your seed into our each heart. You uproot the weeds of sin. You cultivate the soil of goodness. Truly in you, we become like a tiny acorn, holding the secrets of a mighty oak. You nourish us with food of love, with streams of living water. Be our strength as we break down the walls that separate and divide us. Let not fear pluck away the gifts we would share. Roll away the stones that became obstacles to growth, to producing a bountiful harvest. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your faith shine upon us. Teach us to love. Receive our gratitude, O heart of all hearts. Look upon us and see what love can do. Rejoice in the new birth you create. Be glad where your seed has found fertile soil. How much more the return of one healthy plant than 10,000 useless weeds. May those who have borne the fruit of love radiate your spirit into the world. May we always walk and co-create with you. Receive the gratitude of our hearts as we share in the great plan. Restore us, O Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. I invite you to close your eyes, to relax your shoulders, and let go of all that tension, to breathe in deeply, and use the words restore us on your in and out breath. Restore us. Restore us. Restore us. Restore us, O Holy One. We long for a world different than what we have right now. We want to be able to go to lunch with friends, hold our grandchildren, breathe without fear. Let your face shine upon us, teach us to love. Restore us, O Holy One. We long for a world where the color of your skin does not determine your wealth, education, daily life, interactions with police. We long for a world of equality and justice. A world where you don't lose your home for saying you're gay. You don't get killed, killed because you're trans. You can have your name on your child's birth certificate. We long for a world that is fair. We long for a world of peace. They shine upon us, teach us to love. Restore us, O Holy One. There is so much grief, so much loneliness, so much sorrow. Be our strength for the nurses and doctors and staff who are overwhelmed, overworked, and frustrated and angry that people won't stay home, that they won't wear their masks, that they can't stop the deaths. Be our strength for those who are sick with COVID, with cancer, with diabetes, with heart disease, with so many other illnesses. Be our strength for those who are out of a job, out of food, out of shelter. Be our strength for those who are grieving the death of a loved one. 
Be our strength for those who are on our hearts as we lift them up to you now. Restore us, Holy One. Let your face shine upon us. Teach us to love. Amen. <laughs>